In this highly paced world where everything is so intimidating, when notifications are constantly buzzing, when scrolling has become new norm, when thousands of blogs and articles are produced every single day and over 500 hours of content is uploaded in YouTube and where the attention has become the new currency. My dear friends, we all know that in our one demand lives, the one thing most in demand is our focus. We all have this sensation that we are just inches away from a world that keeps changing louder, faster and even more noisier. And it's only when we take a step back, remove the distraction and hold it still that we can finally see what it takes to be exceptional and great in our lives. Hello everyone, this is Nafis Islam. Today I am here to present my final year intelligent computing project. The very first, let's understand the problems that we all are facing today. Problem number one, attention collapse. According to the researcher Gloria Mark, our attention span has shrunk from 150 seconds in 2004 to just 47 seconds today. In a world built to hijack our focus, how do we reclaim control? Problem number two, high quality work is getting rarer and rarer. We can't go 30 minutes without checking our phones. Thoughtful writing, coming up with some coding breakthroughs, these now seem so exhausting. We have settled into just get it done mentality. Problem number three, the clutter of productivity tools. We jump between planners to heavy trackers to timers, but none offer a complete workflow. For any goal to succeed, we need a complete system that ties from planning to execution and to evaluation. So the question is, what is the solution to all these problems? And the answer is, deep work. Carl Newport, a computer scientist and a writer in his book, defines deep work as the ability to concentrate deeply on a demanding task for a prolonged period in a distraction-free environment. He also shares deep work rules like to embrace boredom, to ritualize deep work and to be very strict with distractions. Inspired by his ideas, I went on to convert it into a tangible app called Deep Work AI. It is a web app that applies the deep work mindset and helps an individual to achieve big goals. The Deep Work AI app is not just another productivity tool. It's a personal coach designed to make focus effortless and success achievable. Thinking about the system objectives, Deep Work AI has three clear objectives. First, to enable distraction-free deep work with real-time AI feedback. Second, to give meaningful analytics and insights on focus. Third, to link every session to personal goals for long-term alignment. Let's look at the three core modules of Deep Work AI. The first module is Goal Management module. It allows users to create new goals, continue with existing ones, or take a random Deep Work session without assigning a goal. The second module is Deep Work Execution. This module is the heart of the app. It integrates a Pomodoro based timer and tracks the focus level of the user in real time using the webcam. If the user is found distracted, the system gently nudges them to refocus and return to deep work. The third module and the final one is analytics module. Basically after each session, users receive detailed charts showing their focus time, distraction breakdowns and trends over days, weeks and months. From planning to execution to performance analytics, it forms a complete deep work cycle. 
Moving on, let's see the architecture. So this is the system architecture of Deepwork AI. The user first begins by signing in through Clerk, a secure authentication service that manages login stations and user access. Once authenticated, the user interacts with the front end, which is built using Next.js for fast rendering and Framer Motion for smooth UI transitions. During a focus station, the user's webcam feed is processed in real time using OpenCV, which prepares the visual input for AI analysis. The processed frames are then passed to the AI model, which I call as DLAF, DLF, the Deep Lens Engine for Focus. Since this is a computer vision project, I shall discuss the working of DLF in little details next. Talking about the backend, the backend is made with Flask, which handles all the session managements, the data routing, and API requests. It connects directly with the database and the AI model, ensuring everything runs smoothly. Session data like focus time, distractions, and the timestamps is stored in the PostgreSQL format, which is hosted on Neon database. The backend uses Drizzle ORM to manage the data operations and serve the analytics back to the front end. Now let's take a quick look at how the Deep Lens Engine for Focus or DLF works. First, YOLO Mother Focus Model. DLF uses YOLO version 11 to analyze the webcam frames in real time to get the raw predictions. It detects focus states like phone uses, absence, looking away, or drowsy. Second, auxiliary corrections. Once DLF gets the raw predictions from the YOLO model, for certain cases like phone or absence, which are considered to be strict distractions, the DLF uses extra checks from other helper models. Third, temporal heuristic. Every slight distractions cannot be considered as distractions as they are normal human behavior. So to smooth out, every 15 seconds, the model reviews the last 15 predictions. If 10 or more show focus, the block is marked as focused. Otherwise, the most frequent distractions is saved. Fourth, the nudging mechanism. If a distraction is confirmed, the system gently nudges the user to refocus. But in some serious cases, like using the phone or leaving the frame or being absent, the session can end automatically if reminders are ignored after a given threshold like 2 minutes for absence and 1 minute for phone use. However, the users can choose not to be nudged or to be nudged without sounds. So what are the real-world impacts and benefits of Deepwork AI? First, Deepwork AI helps users stay accountable. It detects distractions in real time and urges them to refocus when they drift away. Second, it's especially helpful for the students and professionals who want to do great in their lives, who want to improve their attention but lack structured environments. This system keeps them aligned and consistent. And third, by tracking focus trends and distraction time, users get data-driven feedback they can learn and grow from. Now let's talk about the entrepreneurial potential of Deepwork AI. First, product market fit. In today's world, where attention is a scarce resource, there is a growing demand for tools that don't just manage time, but manage focus. Deepwork AI fits perfectly into this gap. Two, scalable across domains. The system isn't limited to just students or solo users. It can be scaled to classrooms, remote teams, corporate trainings, programs, and even digital wellness platforms. Anywhere, consistent focus is a key to performance. Third, edtech and productivity ready. With future integration into LMS and productivity tools, deep work AI fits naturally into growing digital work space. And the vision forward, this app, Deepwork AI, is not just a project for me, it's a foundation. With continued development, Deepwork AI can become a core part of the next wave of intelligent, purpose-driven productivity tools. 
Now let's begin the demonstration of Deepwork AI from the perspective of a typical user. So after signing in, the user lands on the dashboard. From here, they can explore different pages, including how Deepwork works or tips to stay committed. And the three core modules, to begin the user clicks on the start Deepwork. They can either create a new goal, resume a previous one, or start a random session. Let's say the user wants to continue studying for their CMT 426 final exam. They select the goal and move ahead. Next, they choose the session settings, how long to study, whether to enable nudging or not, and if they want background sound. Once ready, they click start deep work. Before the session begins, a short onboarding screen appears. It reminds the user of the deep work rules, asks for the webcam permission, and gives quick guidance on posture and camera angles. Once confirmed, the session begins. This is the deep work session window. On the left, the user can pause or end the session. In the top right corner, they can see their live focus status. For example, see how the focus level rises and falls in real time based on the user's posture and behavior. Now let's say a user starts a deep work session. But after a few minutes, they get distracted and pick up their phone. Deep work AI detects it and gently plays a reminder sound. If the user doesn't return to focus, a second warning is given. You may be using your phone. Please stop it. Deep work doesn't allow phone use during the study work segment. You have used your phone for 45 seconds. Please remove it or the session terminates in the next 15 seconds. If distraction continues, the session ends. Session terminated due to one minute of phone use. The user starts again. This time they stay focused. Deepwork AI tracks their attention consistently and congratulates them. Hey Mathis, that's so great you've maintained 20 minutes of deep focus. Keep it up. Later, the user briefly hides their face. Your face has not been visible for 45 seconds. Please ensure your face is visible. And then leave the seat for too long. The system nudges them for a few times to return. You have been absent for one minute. Please come back. You have been absent for so long. Please come back. The session will terminate. If they stay away, the session is terminated. Session terminated. Because during work or study session, a user cannot be absent. After a completed segment of the session, like a 45-minute study block, the user enters into a short break of 15 minutes. They may grab water, stretch or recharge. When break ends, Deep Work AI rings softly to invite them back to continue. At the end of the full session, the user sees a quick summary, total focus time, distraction percentage. They also have the option to write a short reflection on what they worked on. From the dashboard, the user can now explore their progress. They check their goal analytics, how many hours have been completed, what topics were studied, and how many days are left before the deadline. Then they open focus analytics. Here, they see their average focus score, for example, 7.1 out of 10 here, along with the breakdown of time spent focused or distracted, or likely distracted. They can view their activity over the past week, check if their focus trend is improving or not, even explore the session-wise insights for each goal. If let's say the user ever feels low or needs a boost, they can open the motivation section, which offers inspirational videos to reset their mindset. So in this way, the user completes a full cycle of deep work from setting intention to staying accountable to learning from each session and improving their focus behaviors. So is deep work AI very demanding? Very strict? Yes, it is. But there is a cost for doing great and exceptional things in life. The cost of being strict with distractions and valuing our attention. You have been with me until the end. Thank you so much for your time and attention. The Pork AI app is the focus and achieve any goals.